ads, but all over they've been showing like featurettes of uh, or yeah of this movie. And surprise, usually I don't like that, but they gave they didn't really give anything away, and I think it just made me more excited. I avoid these things like the plague. I well, I'm not. Where, where have they been showing them online or? They've been showing them everywhere. Yeah, they're showing them online. They showed them on the. Marvel building a universe special that they had a couple weeks ago, which was uh, awesome. Let me ask you: is that is that online anywhere? I don't know. Do you know, I can take a look, but it, that was really. And that's really ABC. Good. Maybe it's on ABC, ABC's site. But um, what am I looking at here? I think I found the video game one. Yeah, what's the wrong trailer? <laughs> so I was like, this doesn't look <laughs> like the right movie. Um, Actually, I did watch some movies I, I can bring up that's attached to this uh, that I was going to bring up last week if, uh, in a moment. Um, this just reminded me. Uh, but no, but the, I, I'm. Do you guys think it's going to hold up? That's the other debate. Is this is Marvel going to continue the height of Avengers? I, I heard uh, some other shows saying that um, uh, you know Iron Man three felt like Avengers two, so it still rode the wave. Of, of how, how did of Iron Man movie. three feel like Avengers two? That was, yeah. I didn't agree with it. It's just what people have been saying. Okay, I, I I think if anything, this might feel like Avengers two because you have Shield, that's you have yeah. Black Widow, you have Helicarriers, yeah. like yeah, like if anything, Iron Man just felt like a complete departure from Avengers, which because, I enjoyed, uh, which I really enjoyed. Oh yeah, me too. Like, I mean, Tony could have put in a call to Asgard and Thor could have cleared up. Whole, you know, I, that whole I um, like, Air Force I like one the thing, idea like, of these movies, and and even watching Agents of Shield, be like, no, I I know a god, and and I can call him if I want to, but I'm not going to, you know. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, Did that, you just say that you like the third Iron Man? Or was yeah. I mishearing? What's that? wrong with Iron Man yeah, three? What's, yeah, what's wrong with Iron Man three? I did not like the third Iron Man. Oh, it completely no. departed from one of the like the best heroes in their series. It's breaking them down, man. No. I mean, you broke him down. This guy saw right aliens and you gave him PTSD. Player. I thought it was a great concept. It was Dude, it was this guy humanizing. literally almost died in space. Yes. He literally almost died in space. If if and, you if you don't have Tony Stark kind of reflect and freak out about that. I gotta think, this guy is not a soldier. This guy is not ha- does not have superpowers. He's just a smart dude with a fancy suit. He, which... he is a man in a can, as he said to himself. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not saying that it was a bad movie. I'm just saying I don't think it was as strong as the other two. Or And especially writing off of the Avengers coattails, you got Thor right after that. I Thor still, was much better I still movie. think I still think Iron Man 3 was a stronger movie. I mean, it wasn't and as much four? fun, but I thought it was a strong, like, just movie. Like Iron Man movie, three had a had a, had a muddling middle. Hey, I'll can give we it can that. we just can we just can we just agree on one thing that Iron Man three is better than any of the Transformers movies and probably Transformers four. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay, we're good. Okay, <laughs> so as long as we end on agreeance, we can move on. Um, <laughs> never go to bed angry, Swank. Exactly. Never never end a podcast.